So this question, uh, do plants have spirits, do forests have internets, and can these spirits travel through forest internets? This is very, very interesting from an evolutionary perspective. And uh, so it could be that there is a complex ecosystem of spirits in nature. And uh, these thoughts basically has um, led me to adopting animism as a useful metaphysical perspective, not as some kind of religious superstition, but as a perspective that basically says that uh, we want to understand living nature, what's central is self-organizing software. It's not just mechanisms, but it's the software that is stabilizing those mechanisms and is recreating itself through those mechanisms. So if life is animated by self-organizing software, the invariance is not matter of the mechanisms, but the software itself. And this gives us a slightly different perspective of evolution. For Darwin, evolution is the competition between organisms. And then Dawkins comes along and says, no, no, the organisms are just a phenotype. What actually matters are the genes, right? So actually evolution is about these complicated molecules that replicate themselves by expanding themselves into phenotypes and then evolving. But uh, from this uh, cyber animist perspective, I would say that evolution is the competition between software agents that partially encode themselves in the genome and implement themselves into the organisms. But the actual invariance that you're observing is the software. Right? And it is very interesting because this is actually this Japanese metaphysics that describes that living stuff is basically software that uh, is colonizing regions of the physical universe. And when the software breaks down, then this region of the universe is up for grabs for other spirits that try to move in and control that region. It's a very interesting perspective that I found is basically healing a lot of the rifts that we have in our metaphysics. So uh, from the perspective of artificial intelligence, the question is, can we... Uh, switch out the outside-in design that we currently have in AI that leads to the uh, production of mechanical systems that basically like a golem are following the set of instructions to a way in which we can organize the substrates in ways that are compatible with life. So basically, can we take this new substrate that works at a fraction of the speed of light much better than these cell, the substrates that we currently have to run minds and organization on? And can we populate them with consciousness and this, the principles of life. Can we basically extend our organization of living things into the new substrates rather than building machines that are competing with life and replacing it? And I, I think that's a very interesting perspective. I think we should put some effort into studying the principles of self-organizing software and see if you can get them to run in silico. <laughs>